All right, with daylight savings, it was a little different being out here when the sun came up, uh, or coming out here after the sun came up. But it was good practice, and uh, excited about the challenge of going to Arizona. Uh, it's good to get a win the other night, and you know, get back on track. So uh, Arizona's a, a, a good football team, six and two, three and two in the Pac-12. Uh, they run the ball extremely well. Kadeem Carey, is a, as we know, he's a great player. You know, they still take a lot of pride in the way they play defense. They fly around, they swarm, they hit, they tackle. So it'll be a great game. We're looking forward to it. Kadeem, uh, where does he kind of fit in terms of the facts he's got at so far? Oh, he's a great one. I mean, he's he's an excellent football player. You know, what do you second the country in rushing first, or something? First, first last year? Oh, last year, yeah. Yeah. This year he's number one. Yeah. So that tells, tells you kind of what you need to know right there. You know, he's uh, he's a great football player. How much do you feel like he's improved this season? Um, I think he's a guy that gets better every time you watch him play. You know, he just he was great last year. He's better this year. So and next year he'll be great at the next level. You guys are the last ones to actually hold him under 100 yards last year. Was, was there anything in that game in particular that you guys did to kind of bottle him up? Well, we got the lead early. And so I think that they probably had to throw it more than they probably wanted to. So other than that, no. I mean, you don't necessarily bottle up Kaneem Carey. You know, you try to, you try to limit, you know, his explosive plays against you. But uh, you don't lead the nation in rushing if you're, you know, you don't just stop those guys. So it's going to be a great test for us. What do you think about that offensive scheme? Who, about theirs? Arizona's, yeah. It's effective. You know, I mean, they, you, you, they make you – think if you look at them uh, as a casual observer and you see the four wide sets you think they're just going to sling it all over the yard but really they just do a great job of spreading you out and running it I and mean, they're a great rushing offense so uh, I mean, they're averaging I think 280 something yards a game running the football it's pretty impressive does that play well to your matchup it seems like you guys have played the run pretty well too it plays well to our matchup if we play well you know and we read our keys and we tackle well but uh they present some challenges because they get a great athlete in space. And, uh, you know, we have to come to balance and stay square and we have to swarm and we got to, you know, we got to get this guy to the ground and that's not easy to do. How's baby in the row? He's doing well. Yeah. He's out here today and I think he'll be ready to go Friday or Saturday. And Jordan James and his recovery? He'll be ready to go Saturday. Simon will be ready to go Saturday. Eric Kendis will be ready to go Saturday. Um, so that's good news. How with Simon ready to go? How does that change? Things? He'll be in a reserve that... role. Okay. Yeah. What? As far as the decision on that, is that just Scott doing really well? Well, I mean, I don't think he's 100% healthy yet, mm -hmm. but he's ready to go. So uh, we just want to work him back in as we, you know, as we see fit. What's what's made Scott kind of uniquely ready to step into that role? It seems like obviously the other freshmen have done well stepping in, but Seems like Scott really picked it up pretty fast. What I think him having a background up? at center helps. You know, when you're a center, you're responsible for a lot of calls and a lot of adjustments. You have to identify fronts and you have to identify rotations in the back end that might indicate a blitz or something. And so uh, having that uh, background, I think, helps him. It was kind of funny during the game. I think I told you guys this Sunday night. Did I tell you this when we were at a conference call that I go over to Brett during the game and I said, hey, uh, Brett, I said, let's pick up the tempo a little bit. And he goes, well, if I could get my left guard, Peyton Manning, to quit making all these calls, we could go a little faster. And I'm like, okay, pretty good. Because you see Scott, and he gets down, he's pointing everything out. So it was funny that Brett, and during the game, and it was, you know, towards the end, and it was jokingly, he said, if I could get my left guard, Peyton Manning, <laughs> to go make, quit making all the calls, we'd go faster. So I got a kick out of that. Maybe he maybe more cerebral than I, than you say a normal freshman would be stepping into he's, a role with He's just so mature, you know, and he's confident and nothing bothers him. And you know, I don't know if you've met his parents or not. You know, he's got an older brother that plays in the NFL who's a walk-on, who was a finalist for the Burlesworth Trophy, which kind of shows you what kind of character he has. If you've ever met his parents, you'd understand why Scott is how he is. I mean, his dad's this amazing guy, you know, a military man. And... Uh, Nothing phases Scott. He's got a lot of confidence in himself. He works very hard. Um, he's very conscientious, and uh, he understands the game. He really does. Speaking of tempo, how much of a concern was that last week 
heading into this week? Are, are you specifically, I mean, you talked to Brett at the end of the game. Are you making a conscious effort to try to speed up tempo a little or get back no. to where you were? No, I mean, it, you know, it's hard with three freshman offensive linemen. You know, we got to identify things. It's hard, you just don't move as, as smoothly. Uh, our tempo's been okay. I mean, we're fine. I like where we're at. What I like is good plays when the ball snap. You know, so that, that's more important than anything. So I'm, I'm happy with where we are. Is that it? All right, men, women, ladies, gentlemen. I should always say ladies and gentlemen.